These things here are mining crypto. Application specific integrated circuit. Purpose built machine that does one thing and it does it really fucking loud. Well, what if you don't want the crypto that it's mining? What are you gonna do? Stick around and find out. What up, Geek Squad? We're here to talk about unminable and other mining type services. What has brought me to this point in uh, in our journey? Well, looking at other ways to make passive incomes, which are really an investment at the moment because nothing is profitable in the world of mining crypto. I'm sure if you're mining gold or nickel in batteries, that's probably profitable right now. So what is unminable? On the unminable site, mine your favorite non-minable crypto assets. Our automated system takes care of all the exchanging and transferring to deliver a seamless experience for proof of work miners. Receive your coins directly in the asset of your choice. So essentially you take your mining equipment, whether it be a CPU, a GPU, an ASIC, point it to the unminable pool. Unminable will mine with the algorithm that you choose or have the hardware to to mine with pay you out in a different coin. The example we're looking at today is with Antminer L3 Plus Script Miner. So it mines Litecoin and Dogecoin and you can get paid out in Bitcoin or Ripple or Apecoin or whatever. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video to teach you how to set up Unminable on your equipment. Until I do my own video that way, then it'll just point to my video. Unminable is not the only service that does this. Zerg pool is another pool that another service that I've used in the past. Pool no registration is required. We do payouts in the currency of your wallet address. Use your wallet address as the username. Support more than 200 coins for mining which can also be selected for payout. And then there's another pool that I've seen around a lot but I haven't tried it until now and that is Zpool. Um, again, uh, no registration is required. Really, for all of these, you don't need to like create a username and and register, you know, with your email address and create a login and stuff like that. You just kind of get the minor information and mine to it, which I appreciate. As we go through this, you'll notice a lot of similarities between Zpool and Zergpool. So I've made a little infographic here that does a side by side by side comparison. Here's what we did. We took an Antminer L3 ASIC and we mined on each pool for 24 hours. So it's the same machine, it's the same algorithm, different pool, same type of payout. In this case, we got paid out in Bitcoin while mining script. So starting with uh, Unminable, we've got a 1% pool fee, which they have a referral code program and anyone can do it. In fact, you can use your own referral code in your mining setup and that'll save you 0.25%. So your pool fee is actually 0.75%. Also, if you share that referral link or that referral code with anyone uh, and they're mining using that one, they will save 0.25% and you'll get paid out 0.25% of whatever they're mining. So that's kind of cool. Hey, future editing Alex here. I just wanted to chime in and clarify something here that you don't get paid in what the other person with your referral code is mining. Your referral code is generated based on the crypto that you specify. So if you want to get paid in Doge, you would create a Doge referral code. If you want to get paid in Cardano, so on and so forth. So just wanted to clear that up. Uh, the Zerg pool fee is 0.5% and the Z pool fee is 1%. Payout type for unminable, there's 71 different coins that you could get paid out on. And a lot of these, it's in the name, they're unminable. So like ADA and ApeCoin and Doge, Elon, Mars, or whatever. Uh, in fact, let's take a look at that. So of course there's Bitcoin, um, but like Cardano, PancakeSwap, BitTorrent, Chainlink, Mana, that's pretty cool. So you can get paid out in different coins if you feel like, hey, Solana is, is great, but I don't want to buy it. So I'll just point it over there, get a little moon bag and move on. Um, this is a 
cool way to do that. Now, Zerg Pool has over 200 different coins that you could get paid out on. But these are a lot of coins that I hadn't heard of. Yeah, you can get paid out in Bitcoin, obviously. These are all also mineable coins. So if I have a script miner, but I want to get paid for an Equihash coin, I can point it here. It'll mine using my hash power, but pay me out in an Equihash coin of some kind. You know, they've got they've got a lot of coins. Caw Caw coin. Oh my. And then Zpool is kind of the same way. They've got a whole lot of different coins, but they're all also mineable coins. You kind of see the similarities that I'm talking about here between Zergpool and Zpool. Uh, yeah, and Zergpool, 167 different coins that you can get paid out on. Now, let me stop here for a second because these are all the different algorithms that you could be mining that then will pay you out in something else. So if you have a dash miner like a D3, you could mine X11 algorithm and get paid out in Dogecoin or something. So that's a benefit. Zpool is kind of the same way. Lots of different algorithms that you can mine with. Now, going back to Unminable, though, they have a very select group of algorithms that you can mine. ASIC side, you can do SHA-256, Bitcoin, or Script. GPU side, there's uh, Zellhash, FiroPow, BeamHash, AutoLycos, CawPow, uh, ETC Hash, and ETHHash. And then CPU side, there's RandomX, which is Monero. So you're, you're kind of kind of limited in your hardware usage. For example, I've got a, a D3, which is X11 mineable, and I can't use it on unminable. Uh, as of 1128 of 2022, ASIC compatible algorithms are now available. I, I didn't know they weren't available before. If so, this wouldn't be a apples to apples apples to different kind of apples scenario here. The minimum payout, I, I'm not sure what it was before, but now the minimum payout for BTC is 0. 0.00075 BTC. For Zerg Pool and Z Pool have a 0. 0.0015 BTC payout. So it's significantly higher there. The average hash rate that I, I was on on Mineable was 638 mega hash. About 650 on Zerg Pool and Z Pool. I, I didn't see where I was able to, I didn't see that statistic. So how did we do? I guess is what we're really here to see. Before we look at the results paid out in Bitcoin, let's look at the results paid out in Dogecoin. And I did this first and didn't even think about it. So I mined to Unminable with the L3 ASIC, which is a script algorithm specific ASIC to get paid out in Doge. Sure, so I got paid 19 Doge for 24 hours on Unminable. Great, moving on to Zerg Pool. I got paid a little over six Doge. That's a big discrepancy. Z Pool was even less. Uh, it was like three and a half Doge. I don't remember where I read it. I remember reading it and I tried to find it and I couldn't find it, so I may be incorrect here but proof is in the pudding. Mining with Unminable with a compatible algorithm getting paid out in that coin, you get a one-to-one -one payout, right? So I'm using script, but I want to get paid all in Dogecoin. I, I mine script directly and pays me out all in Dogecoin, right? Right. Zerg pool, we can see here we got paid right here. These are the different coins that they're script coins, but the Litecoin's not on there. Dogecoin's not on there. That's interesting to me. Um, Zpool's the same way. I mean, we've got all these their icons. They're not in a table. Maybe I should do that next time. But same kind of thing. It's a script. They're script algorithms, but none of them are Litecoin or Dogecoin. You would think that is the most profitable one. Maybe I'm wrong. So for 24 hours, it was definitely more profitable to mine Unminable, get paid out in Doge, than to Zergpool or Zpool and get paid out in Doge much more profitable. Moving on. So we'll jump right to it because I can't really hide it here anymore, but I, I already talked about the mineable algorithms. 24 hours on unminable with one L3 plus. I got paid 0 0.0000, that's four zeros, 9450 BTC. Uh, under Zerg pool and Z pool, there were four zeros after the decimal and then a two, 24.95, and let me move my face. 
2115. That's, again, quite a big discrepancy. Unminable, as we saw before, mines pretty much Dogecoin and Litecoin and converts it to Bitcoin or whatever and then pays you out in that coin. Just interesting to see. So Dogecoin to USD at the time of recording, today's December 7th, 2022. Um, so $1.82 here versus... Dollar fifty nine. So, if you are converting to USD, it is more profitable to direct mine script on unminable and get paid out completely in Doge uh, than it is to do the same thing with Bitcoin. Imagine that. Well, that's it, guys. Guess I'm done here. So, what's the moral of the story? You tell me. Unminable is better than. Zerg pool or Z pool? Anyway, I was very interested to see the results here. I, I mean, I knew there would be some type of discrepancy, but I didn't realize there was that large of a difference. Now, you know, the benefit of a Z pool or a Zerg pool kind of thing is if you've got one of those weird ASICs that, you know, came out a long time ago, or even some of the newer ones, and you don't want to mine, you know, Handshake or Library or something. I don't even know if Handshake or Library. Those are probably both really bad examples. Let's see. So we've got like Blake in here. Crypto Knight is its own. Um, Equihash, so the Z9s, the Z11s, the Z15s. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you found the information here beneficial to you. If this is the kind of content that you like, consider subscribing to the channel. Join the Geek Squad. We'd love to have you. And of course, thanks for watching. <laughs> Fucking left my face there the whole time, didn't I? Damn it. Until I do one my own self. Damn it. So, on the end one of us, on the.